Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Bob here once again with another video and today we're going to be looking at my current uh, Hire Toys Robocop uh, exquisite figure collection and yeah got uh, four currently four uh, figures in the collection and I don't think I'm going to be getting any more to be honest or at least at this stage because I've got Ed 209 and Robo Kane uh, that I needed plus uh, Robocop versus Atoma from Robocop 3 and I don't think there's any that I need uh, I think they do the uh, another version of uh, Robo Kane uh, which I may get at some stage but not for a while and also they do, I think they do the Robocop from the more recent movie, uh, from 2014, uh, uh, which I'm not not really keen on uh, getting that. As I said, I'm, uh, as you see my collection, it's more, because uh, my era is 80s and 90s, so that's predominantly uh, what I'm sticking with, it, you'll, you'll see. Uh, most of the stuff that I get, I get a few other bits that are uh, sometimes uh, more recently, but most of, most of the stuff you'll find uh, that I collect is 80s and 90s hardcore action and horror. And yeah, so this is my Higher Toys Robo collection. And yeah, so I've got Ed. Uh, now you've seen these videos separate on the channel. Um, and Ed 209 is a really, really nice figure. Um, it's pretty accurate to the movie, and it's a, yeah, it's a really, really nice version of uh, Ed 209. And I've got it for a good price as well. I got it for uh, 60 pound, which is really good price for something like this, which usually probably costs a lot more. And uh, the Neko version is way way too much and yeah and for the higher toys one this is quite good because it's got the sounds uh, just like the NECA one does from the movie so that's that's obviously Ed walking walking about you know, like you hear him in Robocop the first film he's also in Robocop uh, 3 uh, by the way not in Robocop 2 but he's also in Robocop 3 as well uh, but you see him at his best in Robocop uh, 1 obviously uh, I think that's my best <laughs> my favourite sound um, and then obviously the uh, machine gun I, I do feel don't get me wrong, I think that this, having the sounds uh, is really, really good on this. Um, but I feel the machine gun sound should be way longer. Uh, I think that should go on a bit longer, because in the film, uh, where, he's, where he kills uh, Mr. Kinney, uh, he shoots him uh, for quite a long time. Uh, so I think that should go on a long time. So you get the feel that he's, when that's happening... Uh, although, you know, he doesn't just use his uh, machine guns uh, on Mr. Kinney. He obviously, he uses them uh, when he's fighting Robocop. But you just want to feel that, you know, when you've got that sound on, uh, you know, you imagine that he's blowing Mr. Kinney away, but it should be going on longer, I feel. Uh, but still, nonetheless, pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I think it looks really good, and it sounds just actually like the movie so they had to, they got it to sound just like it does in the movie which is fantastic and overall design pretty good now let's go on to Robo Kane which is really really good um, although I do feel the price was way a lot uh, on this although I only paid uh, I think did I pay 65 I think I paid 65 for this so not too bad but I feel that it's bit much uh, to be honest of saying of this scale but still uh, you know 65 is I guess better than paying uh, you know near 100 which I've seen some of these higher toys Robo Canes go for so at 65 probably a steal to be honest 
And of course, Nika doesn't do, uh, funnily enough, a version of Robocane, uh, whether they just got, got their license or what, or whether they're going to make them one day or not. I'm not too sure. But it's, yeah, very strange that they've only got Nika does Robocop and Ed 209, but no Robocane. So it's very strange. So this is the only version of Robocane uh, that you can get of this figure from Higher Toys. Um, I believe there's uh, some uh, statue or something you can get that's like really good, uh, quite expensive. But I think this is the only action figure sort of type that they do. Um, but yeah, this is how I've got it on display at the moment, um, which is pretty good. And yeah, I think Hired Toys do a version of the one where it's got the screen, the monitor uh, as well. Doesn't have Kane's face on it, unfortunately, but it has the one where it's the monitor. It's supposed to be the damaged version because you can get the damaged version of Hired Toys of Ed 209. Um, and I wanted the clean version, didn't want the damaged version because I didn't think it looked very good. But you can also get the damaged version of. Uh, Robo Kane that Hyatt always do, um, and I, I actually do want to get that at some stage, but I don't know when it's going to be. Um, but yeah, this is the one that's not damaged and pretty good. Got the machine gun on there, which it uses quite a lot in Robocop 2 uh, when I last saw it. Um, and yeah, it's got the other weapon with the uh, sort of battering ram type thing where he uses it against Robocop. And it's got the two uh, claws pincers uh, you know, on him as well which is pretty good and a claw there another claw there and yeah it's a pretty good awesome uh, figure and it's great to have on display just to have Robocop uh, Ed 209 and Robocane it's just fantastic to have uh, on display um, if you've got them as well, then yeah, it just looks great to have uh, not only Robocop, but the villains as well. It's just really good. It's something that I wanted to do from the get-go. And yeah, it's really good to have uh, those. Uh, and then recently, I just got the uh, Higher Toys Robocop 3, Robocop vs. Atoma figures, which are really, really nice. Um, and I'm going to have those on display. I'm not sure if I want to have. Uh, I'll definitely got to have Ed 209, um, Robo Kane, and Atoma uh, on display. But I'm not sure I have to have Robocop with them as well. So I have the four together. Or I might just keep Robocop and have them uh, displayed with my other Robocop uh, figures. Um, because I want to try and sort of keep. The villains separate to the heroes uh, sort of type thing so I don't sort of want to mess them up uh, so yeah but I've uh, got that option doing that and Robocop is cool small figure sort of like a uh, exquisite higher toys mini but it's quite similar to the reaction size small figures and I like I do like my mini small figures got quite a few of those and there's a Toma or a Tomi. I'm not sure how you pronounce it actually. A Toma? Is it a Tomi or Toma? But you know, the Japanese uh, samurai warrior mercenary uh, henchman, I guess, uh, that you see in Robocop 3. And he's pretty cool in Robocop 3. I do like him as a villain. I think he's quite cool. Um, he makes Robocop 3 fun. Uh, so it's not the greatest. It's not the best Robocop, but it's it's got its fun moments, and I think it's quite fun and enjoyable. And he's got his samurai sword as well, and I do feel that Hayatou should have given him the undamaged version head sculpt. I think that was a bit unfair giving him just a damaged head sculpt because he's not always damaged. He has an undamaged head sculpt. You know, to the beginning with, it looks just normal. Um, and yeah, it's pretty nice. I, just, I think it's just cool to have a Toma in the collection and to have all three villains from Robocop standing together on display is great and yeah and I managed to get those for £35 uh, set of those so guys that's going to be it for this video hope you guys enjoy it uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video take care
Bye for now, and I'll see you guys next video. See you soon.